My name is Dr. Jabari Reeves. Your doctor believes that you will benefit from the information obtained from a lumbar puncture. I will be explaining the risks and benefits of this procedure. The purpose of the lumbar puncture is to obtain your spinal fluid. This will give your doctor information about the status of your nervous system, just as the blood gives the doctor information about the heart, liver, or kidneys. The test involves your lying on your side or sitting up with your back arched. Positioning is extremely important because a curved back increases the space between your vertebrae, making it easier to penetrate the space with a needle. Your back will be cleansed with antibacterial solution. You will then receive some local anesthesia, which will numb the area of your back where the spinal needle will be placed. This will remove most of the discomfort from the insertion of the spinal needle. The needle will be inserted between the two bones of your back into the spinal canal. The spinal fluid pressure will be measured and a small amount of fluid removed. The length of the procedure will depend on how much fluid is needed and how easily the spinal canal space is found. After the procedure, you will lie flat on your back as you await the results. Please ask for more pain medicine if you have any pain after the procedure. Complications from this procedure include 1. Spinal headache. This is a rare complication that occurs as a result of cerebral spinal fluid leaking out of the hole made by the spinal needle in the fibrous tissue surrounding the spinal canal. The headache can last anywhere from a few hours to several days in unusual circumstances. The headache can be reduced in severity by remaining flat in bed for 24 hours after the procedure and by drinking a lot of liquid. However, even with these precautions, you may still have a headache. If the headache persists despite pain medication, please return to the emergency room for further treatment. 2. Nerve Irritation In some instances, the spinal needle may irritate one of the nerve roots in the lower spine. Usually, this is a transient problem. In extremely rare instances, this irritation may result in lasting numbness, pain, or weakness in the foot. These complications are rare. 3. Bleeding Although there are no major blood vessels in the back, a small amount of bleeding is sometimes present after the procedure. 4. Infection This is an extremely rare complication because the procedure is performed sterilely, yet at any time the skin is violated there is a risk of infection. Frequently asked questions. 1. Will it hurt? There will be some discomfort. Sometimes physicians have difficulty locating the spinal canal in larger patients or patients with an abnormal curvature of the spine because the natural landmarks of the spine are lost. 2. How long will it take? The procedure usually lasts about 15 minutes but can take longer if the space between the vertebrae is difficult to locate. Your doctor has requested that this information be shared with you. This video is intended to give you an overview of this health intervention. If you have any questions or require further information or explanation regarding this procedure after watching this video, please do not hesitate to ask your doctor.